first in terms of the fans, I think anytime you adapt something, you know, there's always a challenge to making sure that you're true to the underlying integrity and material. And then at the same time, you know, as brilliant a piece that Frank Herbert wrote, there were many challenges to adapt it that Denis, Eric, and John went through. It's, you know, it's very internal, it's very dense. And I think Denis, being a fan himself, but at the same time an A++ filmmaker, was able to have the distance as well as the closeness and found, you know, found that balance. My second question was if you would tell us anything about oh. the sequel. Well, <laughs> interesting you asked that because it's actually not a sequel because probably one of the boldest things that Denis did was say, we're going to make half a film. He did it in a way where it was incredibly satisfying and I think leaves you wanting more. But part two is really the second half of the story. So we're fortunate enough that the film, despite all the challenges, getting it out there really worked at the box office and did over $400 million. And I think is a testament to when people really want to see something in the theater, they're going to go. And so as a result of that, we don't look like idiots. And Denise's decision to say... Let's call it Doom Part One, which I was like, of course. Oh, wait a minute. If this doesn't go well, this is going to be really painful, <laughs> but let's do it. So now we get to make the second half of the film, which has a lot to do with the fans as well. Since Denis was 14 years old, he had been prepping the movie. So, so much of this film, you know, the complexity of it, the, the, the difficulty, all the different layers, it all flowed from his brain. So a lot of the crew had been, you know, former collaborators of his, and Denis is an A++ student. He storyboards everything. He knows everything he wants to do, say, shoot, and then in a really interesting way, he comes and is very loose on set, so he can, you know, improvise, and much to do, again, with the fact that he has such a precise vision, and I think that's one of the privileges of getting to produce is to support a director's vision, and in this case, you know, Dune would not have been possible. It was definitely a do not try this at home on your own alone kind of film. But with Denis at the helm and then the incredible artisans, this film, you know, it all flowed from his brain and their talents. <laughs> <laughs>